Some of our community's most vulnerable will soon be losing services. The Oklahoma County Social Services Program says it is closing at the end of the month because of a new state law. And while leaders in Oklahoma County are not happy with this move, elected officials in other counties say this is a good thing. KOCO Zach Rael here in studio with us now. And Zach, you have a look at what's happening here. Jess, Evan, that's right. This is mainly going to be impacting the elderly community and low income residents. Leaders I spoke with today say they tried to stop this bill from becoming law. After October 31st, certain programs within the Oklahoma County Social Services Office will be no more. They include the Homeless Navigator Program, which connects the unhoused with various providers, the Gatekeeper Program, which helps elderly people, and the county's pharmacy, which gives free prescriptions to low-income residents. Oklahoma County District 1 Deputy Chief Commissioner Joe Blau points to Senate Bill 1931 as the reason these programs are going away. In a statement, he said, quote, We were told that the authors were offering the legislation to clean up antiquated language and doing so would not harm the ability to provide services. It passed the Senate unanimously and secured 80 votes in the House. According to Cleveland County Commissioner Jacob McHughes, the bill repealed outdated laws that require counties to provide services already provided at the state level. He told KOCO, as inflation has caused escalating costs for construction and road building materials, county officials have been forced to tighten their budgets and focus on core services. Providing duplicative services already offered at the state level is not sustainable and not the best use of taxpayer dollars. Oklahoma County officials say it's not fair to compare smaller counties to one like Oklahoma, where they say these services are needed. Blau says they tried to suggest language that would have allowed them to continue, but those suggestions were not considered. Now, he went on to say that they are working to find a lawmaker that will draft a bill that would allow the counties over 600,000 in population to continue offering these services. Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>